JD knows your word of truth. You know the spiel, Huntington Beach, world famous. God loves us, God has us. We believe if we continue to follow that we will be comforted and find our way home. That's why we do this work to um, get our tone right. So welcome to the channel, new subscribers, old subscribers, family, Israel. Probably take this down now. No sun. Let some air in here before I sweat my ass off. So we were talking about the flash mobs, the the way this world is falling apart. Doesn't matter. We got it. We got to stay in the spirit. So I I got drug into the I got drugged. I got drug into the physical like my son said dad that's material stuff the tailgate has been a story if you haven't if you <laughs> if you don't listen to every video it's hard to follow because it's a story it's a pattern prophecy is a pattern so Part of what this channel d does, if you if you haven't been here, give me a second, family. I'm gonna try and explain to some of the the newer um, brothers and sisters that are here before I move on. Oh, she's so cute. It's probably wicked as fuck. <laughs> my <laughs> my eye still looks at a woman and goes, ah. It's a woman. <laughs> Whoa. Watch yourself, JD Nija. Wow. Um, pro prophecy is a pattern. It's it's less prediction fulfillment than it is pattern. It's more like a quilt. And so when you think of the remnant and the um the little pieces that are being sewn in, we're like a quilt that's making up this prophetic pattern there's a pattern to a quilt and if the pattern's off then the quilt looks kind of funny it's like why is there so much yellow over here and over here it was yellow and red when blue and now there's no blue at all but there's a bunch of yellow so it's a it's a pattern where the colors the colors have frequency the colors are the stones in the temple the colors are bringing us to a clear jasper it's at the end it'll be a sea of glass perfectly clear when the colors are only going to be reminders they're going to be memorials for what these different vibrations these different chakras if you want to new it, age it so um, when we talk about spiritual things man we got to stay with this light idea this abundance of the light the light the new Jerusalem is going to have no sea it's going to have no colors it's going to be clear jasper it's going to be no pain no it's, you're going to have everything so that being said, um, the last two videos we've been talking about how Lahaina plays into prophecy and why why it's been such a, a bear for me. I, I was married there in 1993, so it's been 30 years. David's... 30 mighty men, 30 years, 30. Um, I'm going to be 62 next month. 30 and 30 is 60, and then two years. Do, do we have one year left? Is this. I'm trying to see how. What is it about my life 
and about this time frame how's it how's it fit into the pattern but we'll get back to that when it becomes more clear I'm just throwing these things out so you guys can put it into your mind what how old are you when were you born when were you married in Maui when did Maui get burned down it's interesting because Maui got burnt down two days before the date of my first marriage, August 10th. Maui burned down on August 8th. So there's something about the bride, marriage, The bride coming down, the new Jerusalem coming down like a bride from heaven. I don't know. I don't know. So the part I wanted to get to today <laughs> that I've been, that the Lord's been dragging me over here and dragging me over here so that you can understand something about the bottom line of these last few messages is that We have to forget about the tailgate, forget about the money, forget about the flash mobs, forget about how expensive it is to buy a fucking burrito. Why is a piece of plastic $300 to cap off the tailgate? Why, why are the nuts and bolts fucking $4 each? We're coming down to that point where it doesn't matter. It's like, what what future do we have here anyway? So as a Benjamite, I've gone into this. Part of the reason we prophesy is because everything's been taken from us. And so he, the Lord told us, you, you people of Judah, of Benjamin, go rule, multiply. Rule, multiply, rule, multiply. So all my, all my Benjamite brothers, the um, the Jamaicans, the um, are a good example of where a lot of our spirits landed with this prophetic reggae thing. So if you notice, sometimes I'll put up reggae songs. That's for you to um, to get your tone right. Listen to those songs. This is where I learned a lot of what I learned about my tribe. So Benjamin sings these songs, these Bob Marley songs, these Ziggy Marley songs, these Jacob Miller songs, these Peter Tosh songs, these... <laughs> My people have tended to jump from woman to woman and have children. We did, we're, we do... We're forced to do what the Lord told us to do. We went and multiplied because we were destroyed. Our family was destroyed during the Civil War with um, the other tribes back in the end of Judges, chapter 20. You can read the whole story. It's pretty sad. The whole tribe of Benjamin was almost destroyed. But anyhow, most of you already know that. I talk about it all the time. Cause that's where I come from. That's my people. That's my, that's my tribe. And so I have three children from three different women. Uh, my buddies in Wailing Souls, they have. These guys are hardcore. Eight kids from five different women. Bob Marley, check them out. <laughs> check out how many kids he had. The Lord said to Judah, to the lion, rule and multiply rule and multiply so we we're, we're ruling we will rule and we're we are going to rule over all the tribes because he took the golden reed in the last video i was reading this um having the glory of god in her light was like a stone most precious even a jasper stone clear as crystal we're in revelation by the way not, not, 
not my favorite place to be. It's always brings back a lot of triggers. And it, there was a great wall, great and high, and it had 12 gates. And at the 12 gates, there were 12 angels and the names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So when it talks about angels and the angels people are the tribes of Israel. So much fucking nonsense bullshit going on out here. I'm going to try not to um, focus on that because it's not going to get us anywhere to to point out the nonsense. It just confuses everything. Just know that the angels, they're walking among you. I'm right here. I'm right fucking here. And that's the point of what the original message for today was. Um, next page. A pure river of life. And then I'll hopefully I'll be able to close out and you guys can rest. I can rest. I can take a walk. Ease my mind a little bit. Um, a pure river of life. This is um, Revelation 22. Next page. Um, and the 12 gates. This is a little bit before that. And the 12 gates were 12 pearls. Every several gate was one pearl. And the street of the city was pure gold. As it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein. For the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. So when we talk about being outside the temple, I want to get this since we're here. You're either in the temple or you're outside the temple. If you're outside the temple, you're profane. You're outside the temple. You you haven't you haven't got the key of life. You don't know the light. You haven't been abundant. You've worried more about a tailgate than your spirit. And I saw no temple therein, for God Almighty was the temple, and the city had no need of the sun or the moon. To shine for the glory of God was the light and the lamb is the light thereof and the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it so ever these Gentiles these kings of the earth They might not be all the way in to the temple, but they're going to be within the light. The light's going to shine on them. Not everyone is going to be of the light, but the light, the light will shine on them. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there. And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defiles, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or makes a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Don't lie, man. Don't lie. Um, the pure river of life. And he showed me a pure river of water of life clear as crystal proceeding out of the throne and then it goes into how beautiful there was fruits there was 12 manner of fruits and every month there was leaves of the trees were the healing of the nations and there shall be no more curse but the throne of God and the lamb shall be in it and his servants shall serve him Same thing I'm doing now. I'm serving you. I'm serving him. We're serving the most high God by being here together and talking about these things, talking about him, talking about his word. Let me get it. And they shall see his face and his name shall be in their foreheads. Healthy, healthy looks good. 
Healthy looks good on you. And there shall be no night there and no need for a candle, neither light for the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, these sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. And I have 10 minutes to shortly be done with today's two hour treatise on Revelation and this New Jerusalem and the flash mobs and how the MOTB, the Mark of the Beast, is coming to try and capture us with the tailgate mentality. You need a new tailgate, J.D. Nigel. You need to. It's all about the material. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. So, um, he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which m m shortly will be done. What am, What is that saying? That's me. I'm one of these servants. That, these sayings, what I'm telling you is faithful and true. These are the... This, these are words of truth believe it or not yeah fucking Jeff Deloach what the fuck why are you cussing JD Nigel because what the fuck really like my son said why me why why me why not me um and the Lord God of the holy prophet sent his angel to show unto his servants so the holy prophets and the angels, same thing, Benjamites, ones who were of the the Nethanims, the servants of the temple, that's us. We're servants. We're, we're, we're in, he's in our minds, he's in our foreheads. We're thinking about him all the fucking time. We're listening to a fool like me slap himself in the head. Because he's so spiritually <laughs> bonkers that I don't know what to do with myself. So this is the part I was getting to. Jesus will come quickly. 22-7. Jesus will come quickly. Red letter. The blood speaking. Behold. He's telling, he's telling John. Behold. I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. So what are we keeping? We're keeping the idea that the prophecy is not prediction pattern, prediction fulfillment. We're going with, it's a pattern. What's the pattern? The pattern is we have to believe that the vows are true. The words are, that I write, the things that are being said are being written down in the book because I am one of his prophets. I am this servant. I am this angel. I am this son of David. I am speaking with authority. <laughs> and, John saw, and John and I, John, saw these things and heard them. So he's understanding. He's hearing and seeing, and he gets it. And when I had heard and seen... When he had, when, when it hit him, when he, <laughs> when he realized the tailgate wasn't that important and he was talking to his family and he was getting the word from the angel that sent us to you, Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, Bunny Whaler, Wailing Souls, whoever, J.D. Nyjah. Sons of David, the mighty men of Judah, of Benjamin. And John saw these things and he heard these things. And when he had heard and seen these things, he fell down to worship before the feet of the angel, which showed me these things. Then said he unto me, See thou not that you do it, for I am thy fellow servant and thy brethren, the prophets. And of thy brethren, the prophets, of them which keep the sayings of this book, worship God. That's the point I was trying to make to you. Is This is where... I don't I forgot who brought it to my attention last night. Don't fall down before me. Don't Don't worship me. I'm just like you. 
We are prophetic. We are these angels. What's it say? And I fell down at the feet of the angel and worshipped the angel. No, 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 no. There's only one God and one power and one light. We fall, We we want to get integrated into the light. How do we do that? By integrating into each other. You're my brothers and sisters. You're my family. You, I have no family. Benjamin has no family. You are my family. I'm trying, that's what, that's what the message is about today is that we, we have to be family to each other. We have to strengthen each other. We have to tell each other. Regardless of what Raptoro looks like, Raptoro is when we finally get the fuck out of here and this new song comes down on us and we're singing the right tune, the right tone. We're, we're in the key of life. We have the key of life. And he said, do not do it, for I am the, thy fellow servant of thy brethren, the prophets. What's a prophet? It's an angel. I've been saying this for months now. I've been trying to get people to understand. No one wants to hear it. You're a prophet? You're an angel? Yeah, so are you. Get over it. Are you an angel of death or are you an angel of life? And he said unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. These seals are being opened, people. I have just enough time to finish this. What have we been talking about day in and day out? The seals are being opened. We were in Daniel last week. The cogitations of my spirit are showing me that this... It's showing me what's going on here. It's it's giving me that. And he said unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book. So it says uh ten. The words don't don't seal the words for the time is at hand. The time is at hand. Get it into your head. Get it in your forehead. Slap your fucking self silly until you get it. You're an angel. You're you're of light. You're of this temple. You're of God. You're of... Get it. Get it. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy... Let him be filthy still, and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my this is red letter. Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according to his works, and it shall be. I am the Omega, and the Alpha, and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. How do we get to enter in? By being honest. She had, I bet she had the best pinkest nipples, dollar size, beautiful, puffy. No. <laughs> what a dog, right? Perfect message. Blow it. Blow it at the end, J.D. Niger, with your fucking sick, sick, tailgate bullshit your your material life i'm just saying you gotta i'm trying to show you honesty is it, it's what it is try not to get over amped on big puffy pink nipples <laughs> big puffy. for outside are dogs for outside the temple are dogs and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever, and makes a lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. That's the point I was just make. that's the point I was just pointing out is that what came out, what did I see? I told you what I saw. I saw a vision of <laughs> Pink Puffy. Um, red letter, I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. 
I am the root and offspring of David and the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, and let him that is a first a thirst come. Thirsty ones, let him come, and whoever whosoever will, let him take the water of life and drink freely. Does that bring it all around for you? Stop thinking of those puffy nipples, you man, you men out there. He said, I have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and offspring of David. I am Adonijah, the root and offspring of David. I am an angel of the Lord. What the fuck? Me? Love you, believers. I hope you understood my ramblings. My my these these things will be written perfectly. I we, I have the best editor in the world. So I love you. I'm gonna take a walk and then I'm gonna go. Hopefully, finish the tailgate. I'm about burnt out on the tailgate thing, and I bet you are too. JD Nigel, Word of Truth. Subscribe if you want to talk about the Bible with a son of David, the root, the wellspring of life, the prophets of Benjamin, of Bethlehem, Ephrata. I'm out.